when you open this video up, but uh, today is February 15th. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Sun is shining beautifully on the snow, but it's cold. It was minus 53 last night with the wind chill, and I think it's minus 27 right now um, uh, at 10. So uh, it's supposed to start warming up, but we're still supposed to get minus uh, 49 tonight. So no school tomorrow for the kids. Thank goodness it is a holiday for them. So uh, that they're going to be home helping me. So my grandson is again helping me. Today I'm going to be putting shelves up. Now you see I've already put those three shelves up. And that's all for my drying activities. Um, uh, this is tomatoes. When I have too much tomatoes I make salsa and uh, a juice. And, and, and I end up drying a whole bunch of tomatoes. And this, gosh... When I looked in the store, a little container is like $10. So this can be uh, be powdered way more than this. But I like the pieces in my soups or stews or whatever I'm making. So that's why I leave it there. If you just want powder, then you can put it in your machine and, and, and make, it, uh, make it a lot more powdery. Here's elderberry. Now, elderberry is an excellent uh, uh, berry uh, for your teas. It's, uh, it, it's a really nice smell too. And it's excellent to medicinal for, uh, for colds and flus and those types of things that uh, you have problems with throughout the season. And you'll see there's all kinds of things. I've got thyme and I've got uh, parsley. This is parsley, split peas, uh, chicken. Oh, well, it's not chicken bouillon. I, I moved the chicken bouillon out of there and put something else in there. Let's see. That's, I'm not sure what that is. doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I also have... Uh, hydrated lime and of course this is a poison but I use this uh, in water to um, uh, put my extra eggs when I want to save them I don't want them all in the fridge I take a tablespoon of that hydrated lime into approximately four cups of water mix it and then put it into a container and then put my eggs clean eggs not washed from the barn and that'll last mm, up to a year even um, just the way eggs are naturally uh, held from the chicken. So I'm going to, um, uh, I've already measured, and I'm going to show you how I measured uh, to, to make them equal. I don't, I don't want them up and down from these shelves. I want them equal to these shelves. So I go from the ceiling to the bottom of this shelf, and that tells me where my, uh, my little arm should go here on this side. And then the next one from the ceiling down to the bottom of this shelf and then down to the bottom of this shelf and then I take those measurements and go here and I've already done it but uh, I go here and then I mark off the wall where I need to have those arms and I'm going to put two arms on this wall as well um, I may need three, if I need three I'll put a third one this is uh, uh, four feet long I, I buy eight foot lengths and then I just cut it in half this is solid pine, so this will last forever. It won't bend. It's only an inch, but it won't bend uh, unless you have excessive weight on it. And I don't. I have just the jars. I fill them up and put them up there. Okay, so I've got bad knees, so I'm always slow on the mark when I'm, when I'm doing things. Uh, but that has never stopped me because I need to do things. Most of the time, my kids are never around, either in school or working or whatever. So I always do many projects by myself. So I have this step ladder, and now my grandson said, why don't you move this out of the way? Yeah, I guess I could, but it would take an hour to take it out, an hour to put it back. And I'm usually one that I like to get things done. So I have a drill, and I have the, uh, the screws that I need. The drill head matches the, the screws, of course, because you don't want to start without, with it being the wrong head, then you have to, so I'm holding it like that, see? So, now, do I want it up this way, long, with short arm, no. or, or this way? That way. Well, okay, there's, there's two options. This... We can do it another way. This takes the pressure here, but it's a short arm. Now, the fact that this is arm kind of goes across the whole shelf, that means it's probably okay. If this was really, if my shelf was out here and my arm was over there, oh yeah, then it would be, it wouldn't work. It would overpower the shelf and, and eventually. Would you say the there's more thing. support if you have it like that way? Well, like the, you have to decide yeah. each project whether you want it this way or you want it that way or you want bigger arms. Um. So you can buy huge arms if you want, but for in this case, 
I've chosen these arms and I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to get up here. Now this is an inch and a half screw. If, if it was taking more weight, I would probably use a three inch screw. Um, and you decide again for yourself and your project. So I usually start on the bottom. See there's holes here, here, and there's also holes here. That's going either way. But I'm choosing this way, so I'm going to start the first hole here. Um, but I've already got one in my, in my drill. This is an electric drill too. So. so now, this top has to go immediately underneath the marks. Because that's where my shelf should equal the other shelf. Oh, and you want to see with the end of it. You want it to be centered, smack centered. Oh, that caught a nice piece of wood. You heard it, how the burr. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the second part. Um, I'm going to put the shelf up and then I'm going to anchor it down. Because it does have to be anchored because otherwise if you don't anchor it, it's just going to flop the second you put too much weight on it. So I have a tiny screw, just a small one, and I'm going to just put it into the top. Triangle. Yeah, that's not work. So now it's not going to flip. If I put two weight, weight over there, I have to put one more on this side. Or weight on this side. rest of them and uh, get on with the job. The next one goes here, immediately under the first one. And the second one goes here. Okay, so I got all three up. Um, I'm not going to verify them now. I mean, in the future, but right now, I like the look of, uh, of just the, the um, raw pine. So then I start putting all my containers up, and I'll do that shortly with all of them. But I just wanted you to see that. See, they, they do fit a quart. That's pickling salt. That's all that's needed in the, in the scheme of things. This is a cute little thing I. Picked up along the way. 
So it doesn't have to be all uh, things that you need on that shelf. It could be odds and ends. I have a, 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 a coffee grinder up there and uh, butter presses uh, to make butter with, um, which is another story. I've got all the shelves done up. I put my odds and ends on there as well as all the jars that I have to get on. Um, so that's the project for today. I think my next project probably will be dehydrating. Uh, I have some vegetables and ginger and other things in the fridge that are uh, try, starting to get old, so it's time to get into the dehydrator and, and be done. So you have a, a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you next time.